Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European indices for the Friday, the 7th of July 2016. Okay, be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly uh, download the app at the uh, Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, a markets this morning, the roundup itself, you have the um, you have the Asian markets down overnight. Shanghai down, Nikkei down, certainly a risk off uh, event there. U.S. markets certainly finished negative as well, although European markets certainly are booking the trend. Okay, uh, much to my surprise, I've been stopped out of my FTSE short this morning from my 6520s on at 6552. Certainly, uh, I saw 6554. Certainly surprised at the actual. Uh, rally itself given the fact that oil has been flushed down to $45 let me just bring up the chart of oil for you and certainly give you an insight here as you can see here quite a substantial flush in oil from 48 down to 45 certainly expecting a risk off tone in the FTSE and the market certainly has pushed higher now we've had uh, consumer confidence down to a 21 year low uh, the negative data really is um, I can't even sum it up I mean it's um, Certainly, it's overwhelming negative data. Not only that, you also have um, a political and um, chaos in uh, or social chaos in America with with a number of uh, uh, U.S. police officers now. I think the number of U.S. police officers killed are up to rising up to five, and obviously the number of innocent uh, civilians or innocent black Africans, certainly African Americans, certainly being killed, uh, is on the increase as well. So a lot of social. Uh, injustice there okay and uh, certainly doesn't bode well uh, politically uh, for the country and certainly is a negative event okay negative event so again a, a risk off tone okay so looking for weakness here uh, in terms of the markets now moody slashes uk and eurozone growth for following brexit vote germany's exports down minus 1.8 percent german trade balance uh, down uh, s p to closely monitor Australia's government. So again, a, a warning shot there. UK consumer confidence down to nine, minus nine. Plunges at fastest pace since 1994 with Brexit walls hit the street. So again, Brexit may be shocked to confidence. CR curb UK economic growth, etc., etc. Then obviously you've got terrorism concerns in America and so on and so forth. So certainly a, um, a lot of information there uh, in terms of uh, being bearish. Uh, argument really is to the downside, especially with Asian markets down overnight. They're probably the best interpreter of events at present. Now, in terms of uh, European indices, let's just quickly look at the uh, technical uh, picture here. Okay, so German DAX at the moment really is it's still below that gap. Certainly, uh, you have unfilled gaps below here and here. I mean, German exports down as well. It's very hard to justify a move higher. A 60-minute chart of German DAX again. You are pushing off off of that gap fill, but the real gap fill remains at 9270. So watch out for that zombie flow. And the German DAX certainly is coming into resistance as we speak. So horizontal resistance here and here. And like I said, you have an unfilled gap that needs to be closed at 9370, and potential retest at 9300, given the uh, given the actual uh, obviously uh, fear uncertainty that exists. Okay, folks. So again argument really to the downside from my perspective uh, in terms of uh, European indices okay in terms of the French CAC let's just bring that up for you looking at the daily chart first and foremost so again topping tail yesterday with the gap being closed certainly indicating weak 60 minute chart into gap fill resistance at 4160 you do have an unfilled gap at 4230 very unlikely to be closed you have support of 4060 and then gap fill at uh, 3980 so that gap fill below certainly is uh, is very attractive at this juncture, given the amount of bearish news at present. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, again, like I said, my bias was bearish. I was expecting gap fill to close at 6470, and I was stopped out at 6554, uh, and the market subsequently has fallen. So frustrating, I know, but that's the market for for you folks. Okay, so still short the Aussie as well. That certainly is frustrating at the moment, uh, and certainly short the um, Short the uh, the Nasdaq as well on the back of obviously this blue shooting and the uncertainty and ex that exists. So again, looking for gap fill below at six four seventy on the uh, FTSE one hundred. Okay, the sixty minute chart of the FTSE one hundred itself. Uh, yes, you've certainly hold held resistance at six five eighty, and therefore you're looking to potentially retest at six four thirty and six three seventy zone. Okay, ten minute chart which I've certainly shown you going back to the test at six five twenty zone support. 
Daily chart at the moment, we're looking to potentially retest the breakout of 36,370 in the back of obviously consumer confidence plunging as well. So certainly a risk off tone. That's my interpretation thus far. Okay. In terms of the markets at present, oil certainly remains bearish, as you can see, back down to that $45 level as global growth is slowing. The Shanghai certainly weaker overnight. The Nikkei certainly weaker as well. I mean, the current USD JPY is currently being quoted at the uh, absurdly low level of 100 now. It certainly is a warning sign. Okay, so copper as well, as you can see here, still a, a bearish consolidation. So again, everything from my perspective at the moment certainly remains bearish and you have unfilled gaps below and the market's certainly looking to potentially target them. That's my interpretation at present. Okay, I think that's a uh, that's a wrap. And be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that potential 25% bonus. Goodbye now, folks.